So we now know we want to implement a basic shipping rate of $2.95. So how do we actually go about doing that? Well, in this lecture, I'm going to show you. And shipping rates is something that people often get confused about. So I have developed and I've been using a very simple yet powerful system for a long, long time now that not only is it simple to understand for me, but it's also simple to understand for my customers. Of course, you're not obliged to do exactly this, but I strongly recommend you give it some serious consideration. So what we want to do is come down to our settings and go straight to shipping. So first of all, this shipping origin is not significant. We are drop shipping. If we were selling our own products from our own warehouse, then yes, we would need to consider this, but that's not what we're doing. So we can basically ignore this and we can scroll down to this part here, shipping rates at the checkout. Now I've set up two very basic shipping zones. Okay. I've got domestic United States and I've got rest of the world. Now most of my business and probably most of yours certainly in the beginning will come from the US. So I'm keeping this very very simple with United States and rest of the world. You can very easily add in another shipping zone here for example. So if you're in the UK you could add in the United Kingdom or if you're in Australia you could add in Australia and you could end up with several shipping zones listed. But just for the sake of this course, I want to keep it simple and I want to focus on United States because you'll see once I've shown you how this works, you can very, very easily apply it to any shipping zone. So the next thing I want to do is click on edit next to the United States. Now you get to change the name of the zone if you want to. I'm going to leave it as domestic for the moment. You've got the countries that are listed within it. So I could add other ones if I wanted to, but this is the United States. So I'm leaving it purely as the US, but I might want to call it North America and add in Canada. Very, very straightforward. But the first thing I want to say is that these weight based rates are not important. OK, again, we are drop shipping. So the weight is going to be an issue more for the supplier over there on AliExpress in China or wherever they're actually shipping from. We are not shipping out of our own warehouse. You'll also remember in the golden rules, I talked about shipping lightweight products because that gives you another advantage. If, for example, you did have very, very heavy products, your supplier over there on AliExpress might want to charge your potential customer an awful lot to ship them. But when you keep those products lightweight, this completely goes away. You don't have this issue at all. So what we are talking about are priced based rates. So all I need to do is click on add rate, you give it a name. So let me just call it standard one. And then I'm going to create a range between zero and 20. Okay. You remember from the rules that basically you are selling products at 20 euros or $20 and less. Now, this is where I give it a rate. So this is where my 295 comes into play and I just click done. All right, so that's my standard one. So anybody who buys something off my site now between zero and 20 euros, it's gonna be paying 295 in shipping. But what if they buy more than 20 euros of products, which is entirely possible? How do we implement shipping for that? So we're gonna add in another rate this one we'll call simply standard two. Now my minimum order is 20 and I will have no limit for my maximum. Now for the rate, I'm going to charge a little bit more than that 295. In fact, I'm going to put it at 395 and I'm going to click on done. So just to reiterate, somebody buys something between zero and 20, they're going to pay 295 and 20 and over, they're going to pay 395. So if you're thinking ahead, you might be thinking, well, there's a problem with that because if someone orders 200 euros off my site, they'll still only be paying 395. But you will remember that we've got a huge margin with the way that I'm teaching you to make money with this business model. We're buying at four and less and we're selling for 20. So we've got a very big margin to play with and that is extremely important. So just imagine in this example, somebody did buy $200 worth of product. And I apologize, I know I'm flipping between euros and dollars, but that doesn't really matter. The denominations are relevant. It's the actual number that I want you to focus on. So let's imagine they did buy $200 worth of products. And my supplier over there on AliExpress wanted to charge me, let's say $40 for the shipping. Well, that's fine. If you do the maths, I've still got a huge margin to play with. And what it means also is I can very easily explain to my customers how my shipping works. You know, I get and you will get inquiries about if I buy 10 of these products, how much is the shipping going to be? Well, in my case, it's very straightforward. It's $3.95. If it's less than 20, it's 295. If it's more than that, it's 395. 
And trust me, customers like simplicity. Again, doing website reviews and helping people out. I often see people overcomplicating this. They may have 20 things listed in this price base rate. Very, very difficult to explain that to the customer. And also for you to remember exactly how it all works. So after years of experience of doing this, this is basically the model that I've come to. It's a very, very simplified model and it really does work and basically just makes your life that much easier.